So basically, I'm an American, but India, I lived here for 12 years. My parents were Indian. My grandparents were Indian. My kids have never come to India. They would like to come here someday. Uh, I was married to an Indian born in England, raised in America. Uh, so there are some roots. So, so, I, so I come here. Nobody invites me. I have no family here, but I come here because I want to. And now that Tata put me on the map, I come here a couple of times a year. Most of our work is uh, Beverly Hills, Los Angeles, Long Beach, Southern California. I was born in East Africa, Kampala. Uh, at the age of 12, I went to India. At the age of 15, I was out of the high school. So one of my brothers, older brothers, encouraged me to go into architecture. That's how I ended up in School of Architecture. And then in uh, architecture school, Doshi and, and uh, Asmuk Patel and Suryakant Patel uh, gave me a gold medal. So I said, let's go to America. So I came to America, got my master's at the Pratt Institute in New York and started working with SOM. So SOM gave me a grant and a scholarship to do Master's of Urban Design. So I did that. Then they wanted to open up an office in uh, Los Angeles. They didn't have an office there. So four of them came from Chicago, four of us went from Los Angeles, uh, San Francisco, and we started a brand new office. And we had a very young partner at that time, and we, we designed some beautiful projects. But then a big firm called uh, MSA uh, offered me a position I couldn't refuse. I was uh, 28 years old. I used to wear leather jackets, leather ties, long hair. And I was a little bit jungly then. So I would pour wine on the table and walk out. I'll break the pencil and walk out. So finally I said, yeah. So finally, I went next door and opened my office right next door, next high rise. And 12 clients followed me. In 1987, the first year I had 12 projects. The 1987 design consortium was born yeah. from 2008. And we have done some high profile projects in India. And now uh, we are doing one in England and we are doing one in Macedonia. Most architects in their own country whether it's india or america they they go through the history of the country and so many people even in america they follow frank Lloyd Wright. but but when Tadao ando comes from japan he doesn't he'll do something different and it, it will become a museum beautiful museum when san diego calatrava comes from spain uh, he doesn't he, he doesn't follow Corbusier or anybody from Europe, but he, he brings something brand new, the, the subway station, $1 billion at the WTC by St. Diego Calatrava. It's a fantastic project. So that out of the box, you can always see from outside. Uh, otherwise, you make another Pawai or you make another uh, Gurgaon and it continues because it sells or people like it or there is, is there is no nothing there is no, no romanticism after that my architecture now is classical contemporary it is it has no frills no no jarukas and no fake columns they are all solid solid concepts and they are very strong concepts and sometimes we do things which is not in the program like the Macedonia project, uh, 800 acres on the water, 60 acres on the inside the water. So, so we will have uh, one casino and hotel floating on the water. Another, another 
which are on the sand, golf course, put the high rises. But I introduced two things there, which it was not in the program to do a tree house hotel. So it's a 40 feet tall by 20 feet pod. It's a pod, three level pod. So one level has a bedroom, one level has a living room, and one level has a uh, bar on the top. And it is hung from the tree and it is connected to other three trees so it doesn't move. And each of the pod is connected with a wooden bridge. So the services and everything happened. They thought it was a fantastic idea. So we introduced that as a separate requirement which was not there. So when you introduce this little romantic stuff here and there, client likes it because it was not it was not their original idea. I like to do things like that. The only public projects I have done are four. Uh, one underground railway station, one underground railway, above ground railway station, one private airport, private airport. So when there is a competition, we enter. When there is a bidding, we can't. Because for that, you have to fill up a form and you have to cross out every 10 points. How many times you have worked with the government? One time. Uh, how many years you have worked with the government? One time. Those guys who may not be the best designers, but they can cross out everything. And the guy who is giving the job, he has to make sure that is, everything is crossed out. Out of 100 cities, say, say like uh, Baroda. Baroda is one of the 100 cities. They got 350 crores, rupees, not for the city, just the planning, design work. The construction costs and the implementation will be few billion dollars, not million, billion. You put the transportation, you put the sewage system, you put the water clean plant, you put electricity, you put the cables, total thing, underground safety will be few billion. Their plan is that you invite bids. As for example, they think that Japanese will come and, 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 and put a, a sewage plant for you, which will cost 200 million. So how is Japanese going to recollect the money back from a sewage plant? It's possible if they put a nuclear plant, then they get electricity, they'll run it for 25 years and it's called BOT. Right. Then it's okay. But now they have a competition of all 100 cities that they have to work with the foreigners and provide their solution to the to the Delhi so they get more money. So basically, 100 cities say there are there are four uh, four competition. So there are 400 foreign firms or foreign competitors are working, but nobody has written what we call design manual or a Bible. You have to write a Bible that this has to be done, this has to be done, this has to be done. So everybody doesn't go on a tangent. But even to write that Mahabharata or Bible is a, is a, is a two, three, four years project. And people have started work. They have started uh, doing river, river project in, in, in Baroda. And half the river is, is water and half the river is, is white color. So I said, correct, what is this white? says that's the junk and trash and chemicals from Alembic and Jyoti and all the big industrialists. They are dumping their chemicals and, and, and the farmers are bathing in that and they are, they are feeding plants this chemical water. So sabji which you buy as chemicals, the, the cows they drink the water. I was so disturbed. But I you can put a wall here, wall there, put two trees here. The river is going to be dirty. If you can't clean the river, then why to why to get into other peripheries? Uh, said, my desk has a huge drawing board. I cannot design on a computer screen. I simply can't. So I do sketches after sketches after sketches. And I come Saturday morning and draft it out to the scale and then it goes to the computer then i keep on checking then it goes to working drawing then it becomes rendering 
then we send to China and they do rendering. The, the, the villa we are designing, 4,000 square villa, that every inch, every line I have drawn. I know exactly where the plumbing is going. I know exactly where the door is going. So that's, that's my passion. I, I, would, I would love to bring my kids here. I said, work till you don't need an introduction. 